Uh, Fiskic, you want to identify yourself? I wish it would save this stuff. Uh, I could enable it, but... The F is up, <laughs> and, and then up, and... Uh, oh, you're... What is he doing? You can also do these weird Japanese symbols. Oh, 69! <laughs> yeah, people take these, these symbols, and what they'll do is they'll, like, make shapes out of them. Like, mm -hmm. some people will make uh, like, a box or a rectangle. Say up. You can actually break the in-game text doohickey with the Japanese signal or symbols. If you, is it like a certain combination or, yeah. I don't remember what happens necessarily. Is it just, you can just use it. They just look, no, they, what are you? Okay, I was asking. I was just asking. No, it just, it gets like, you can, like get them to be longer. Like the text box is longer. Japan hacks. They're more likely than you think. No, you know what? Now that I think about it, off. that might not be breaking it, because if it's Japanese kanji, sometimes they combine into one symbol. So maybe that's just a a, a feature of the uh, of the language. Hmm. Mm. I don't know. And, uh, it's not a bug. It's a feature. <laughs> Would you call yourself a penologist? I said I'm not a Japanologist, but oh, a Japanologist. Oh, yeah. Oh, fucking hit my hand. So how are you feeling based on yesterday, like as far as memory and... I just probably had to warm up some stuff. I'm probably ready to learn some new shits. Don't know, I don't know about the short hop thing. Can't quite seem to get there with my fat fucking fingers, but... Your fingers it's not about it. fatness of the fingers, yeah. dude. It's about speed of letting go of the jump button. Well, I mean, you you want to touch it fast. like it's you want you, you want to touch it like you're touching a hot pan. Ha, 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 but that's the problem. I can't feel heat. No, I'm just <laughs> I haven't been able to feel for twenty three years. No, no. Oh God! Every time you say something, that, it reminds me of that uh, John Mulaney joke, where he's he's telling a story about blackout drunk. And then he goes into like he just like randomly goes this weird direction with it, and he's like he hasn't been seen for forty years. And he's <laughs> like I don't know how to end that joke, so I just <laughs> did something weird. That's literally all my sentences. Don't know how to end any of them. So right. if we get to it, I do have a video that I found yesterday of chic specific tech that we can go over if it comes to it. Perfect. So, and this will be like. Yeah, get some waved. Just, you know, start moving around. Oh, boy. I think the easiest way for you to get the timing on the short hop is if you imagine you're trying to mash the button, but then instead of just mashing it where you have your finger down on it all the time, try, um, like... Imagine if you try to mash the button with pulling your finger just off the button. Like, it's that speed. It's like, well, that's a good speed to start from, and then... The problem is, I have to, like, physically alter my entire hand to kind of do this. Well, what, what button are you using to jump with? You're using um, X to jump with. Well, then choose Y. Or the, the one up above. Yeah, Y. <laughs> Uh, when I first started out, I I couldn't just let go of the button. I had to. If you take the the bottom cor the bottom left corner of Y, and then when you go to press it, you just kind of like flick off of it. Like you aim your thumb to the side of the button, so you just kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. I had to do that for a while until I got, I don't know, just like, just could feel it. Let's see. That was a short hop. I'm just using the stick for that. <laughs> oh, you use the stick for that? Yeah. I don't know how hard her short hop is. Oh, you know what? I think her short hop is kind of hard, actually. Because I remember having trouble with Sheik's short hop before. Yeah. Should, uh, to practice short hops, should we possibly maybe have uh, try out with a character that is easier to short hop with? Sure. What um, character? Samus is easy to short hop with. No, no, no. Her short hop's not as visible. Yeah, we need something visible. Um, 
go Ganon. Ganon. All right, so his short hop looks like that. This is a lot easier. <laughs> yeah, so hers it has a tighter timing basically. It's just it's it's just like and, and really it's like frames. It's it mm. it's a little bit faster. And Fox's is fucking crazy fast. Yeah. His is hard. Like people like sometimes it feels like people just like bring a feather when they go to play Fox mm -hmm. and just like that's what they use. Yeah. yeah. All right. So when you're doing aerials in the air, this mm -hmm. cake, I want you to only use the C stick. So the only move that you should be using A for is the nair. Everything else, like every other move, should be uh, C stick. Yeah. Okay. And this will, yeah, <laughs> as he does nair. Um, uh, a good one to, uh, yeah, I guess all of them are, are, are pretty with, with, with Gandorf to, to do the, uh, practice the shuffle with. Yeah. The good thing about practicing it with Gandorf a little bit is, is when you miss it, you have kind of like a longer wait that you have to wait out for because of his lag on his moves. Mm-hmm. And it makes it easier to, to see, like, I messed this up. Yeah. yeah. Are you doing the fast falls too? Uh, I see him yeah. doing it every once in a while. Oh. Yeah. So that that forward smash oh, is because you're pressing that you're trying to press the jump faster than the game is is allowing you to do a jump after that animation. Uh, okay. So you you have to kind of feel out when. The uh, so as soon as you get done turning white, like as soon as your white is done, you can pretty much do whatever you want, so you can jump again. Yeah, it kind of lets you know how long you have to wait. I still have a problem with uh, when I'm in the heat of the moment, I'll try to do an action too quickly out of something, and uh, I get messed up by it because I don't think we have the uh, well, I have problems with like doing stuff out of uh, other things that I don't unfortunately we don't have the white that shows up for yes, every, we do. every situation that I would um, do something too fast what are you talking about is when you L cancel so a successful L cancel that's what the white is yeah I know I'm, I'm just talking about when I'm playing Samus or, or or Marth I'll try to do actions out of other things that aren't in L cancel too early so yeah anyways Well, at least we know that, you know, you can do you can do the shuffle. You don't have a problem doing the shuffle. It's yeah, just that. Sheiks is hard. Sheiks is hard. Yeah, apparently. Jesus. She's so fast. <laughs> I think she's just like a like a short. It's really short. <laughs> just she's just a tiny guy. Have you gone over any of like the overall like concepts of just like spacing what we call the different parts of the stage and situations and stuff? No. All right. So if you ever watch like a like a uh, a tournament or something like that, you're gonna mm -hmm. hear people talk a lot about like um, the center of the stage. Or, yeah, or, right where I'm at. Or center stage, and and is it's a it's a a concept where um, usually you are at the advantage if you have center stage mm. and um and, and the other person is off to one side so basically as long as you're in center stage or you try to keep yourself in center stage and away from the edge and they're in the edge in between in between you and the edge basically that's kind of like 
a pretty common goal to work towards in the overall neutral of the game. And there's a lot of strategies that go about with um, with uh, threatening uh, attacks or movement to push somebody to the corner. And the corners are, uh, when people say the corner, it's just the the edges of the stage. And, um, and so, like, threatening movement and threatening space to get them into the corner so that you can set up something that pushes them off the stage to get a kill, basically. And so that's something that you hear a lot is is, is, is center. And then, of course, neutral game, which um, the, the thing that, that defines neutral game is um, w w any moment where both of you aren't in the middle of a combo, basically. So right now you guys are in neutral. But as soon as, like, Matt hit you and he goes for a follow-up, you're no longer in neutral. Gotcha. Oh, no. Oh, so, no. Yeah. Oh, and so, no. <laughs> so the, the neutral game is is where you're doing all your spacing and like trying to threaten stuff and get an opening and, and then move it into um what would the next part of that be it's it's like punish yeah yeah the punish game which is the the comboing or the or the following up or or or, or chasing around uh tech chasing is uh so so they use tech in a lot like a lot of different ways tech is is referring to special moves and abilities or or, 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 or things with, with each of the characters, but also tech is when you're um, when you're L canceling um, after getting hit. So we did that yesterday, where you would um, you would tech the the throw, and they would you would roll back and forth, or you would just stand up. Um, and so uh, tech chasing is is where people like especially uh, chic. Is, Cheek, yeah, is, it's is really good at, at at tech chasing, yeah. which is uh, that whole style um, involves a lot of grabbing, throwing, and then you you kind of see where the person's going to roll to, how yeah, they're going to react, yeah. and then and then you chase them and, get and either get a grab. grab or you get a hit depending on how high their percentage is, and and continue to um, extend your 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 punish basically. Um, so those are some terms that might be used in just a standard game. Yeah. So if I'm, I hit you like that, and then you roll, and then like that's a tech chase. Yeah. Gotcha. And there's a whole game with knowing whether or not the guy's gonna roll in, or roll back, or, or usually tech in place. if you like if you hit someone right here and they land, mm -hmm. they're gonna want to roll into the center of the stage because it's safe. So a lot of times yeah. people are like, I'm just gonna sit right here and then be like, Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Oh no! That's what you get for rolling in. Yeah. So people will set up. It's kind of. I guess that would be considered a tech trap, wouldn't it? You create uh, a situation where you limit the amount of options that are safe. I mean. But that's not really what. No, that's not really what. Like, like, like at a higher trap level, is. they don't even consider that a tech trap because there's not many tech traps in melee. Oh no! Yeah. Oh, nice. You created a situation where you automatically lost. Mark. Yes. <laughs> no sudden death this time. But we can go back to Zelda. Oh, oh I don't know. I, I'll be I'll be Red Zelda. Um. Yeah, her short hop is like, like. See, I'm I'm like missing it. Yeah. Just now. Barely getting, but I still have to fucking. Eh. It's like okay, so the, maybe if I just blow on the button. The thing, the thing about her short hop is, this is her short hop right here. Mm -hmm. See this? This is her full hop. Yeah. Oh, there's like a there's, there's, there's actually hardly a small difference. any difference. And uh, and, and, and but the thing with Sheik is that she can attack really early after doing her short hop. Like, uh, if you do what's called a, a rising fair, it's where you do the jump and immediately do a forward air, like, right after you jump. Are you thinking about a rising neutral air? Because she doesn't really do rising fair. No, that's true. Okay, yeah. With Sheik specifically, like, a rising neutral air. Yeah. Um, uh, she does it pretty pretty early. She has the fastest out of shield option, so you'd be like, what, hit my shield? Nope. Okay, oh, well. well. Let me just punch Matt real quick. Thanks. Uh, one second. Let me turn on the shield. One second. There, there we go. All right. I hit a shield. I'll hit it. Okay. And then. Whoops. 
So she has like the fastest out of shield game. So m m now the hit you're using wasn't something that really has a lot of shield lag as it is, but she does have like a really fast response to getting out of the shield and going immediately into an attack. To Nair. To Nair or... Yeah. Um, gotcha. I'm trying to think of like so, things. I mean, we can try that if you want to. Uh, sure. So oh. you, you just jump and press A, basically, yeah. out, of, out of shield. Yeah, you can just hold shield in. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so jump is, 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 is one of your things that gets you... Uh, so a common thing in this game is knowing when to shield and when not to shield, obviously. Um, because if you shield for too long, you're going to get grabbed, right? Because you can't do anything really to avoid that. Or, or that that's kind of one of the counters to shielding. Um, but... Um, a lot of what people work on is, is is finding ways to get out of shield, and your ticket out of shield is the jump button. And I know we talked about yesterday how you can do a lot of different stuff out of that jump. Mm -hmm. So you can, uh, because a wave dash starts with a jump, you can wave dash out of shield. Um, it is it, it is difficult though because you have to lift off of the shield button and then press it again to do the wave dash again. Um, but um, you can wave dash out of shield, or you can you you can jump and do any attack out of shield. Um, but there are obviously the m ones that are more effective or more useful in, in a given situation, such as Nair, because it's so fast and it kicks straight out. Um, that's something to kind of remember. That you, that's something that should be thought about if you when you go into shield, you should be thinking about well, what can it be doing out of the shield if it comes to that? Oh, gotcha. I'm watching this tech video and and and, and I, I left it playing for a little bit and it's on Nair out of shield. <laughs> nice, perfect timing. And yeah, the move hits on frame three. Yeah, it's like the fastest out of shield option I think, almost besides like shine and some other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So fair and bear out of shield are possible too, but not as effective. You want me to hit your shield? Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Oh god. Oh. Oh god. Okay. Wait, hold on. I'm not ready. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Okay, now hit me. Yeah. And you have a little bit of of sh uh, shield stun. So if I hit your shield, you have a little bit of stun before you can do anything. Gotcha. Oh, Sheik has an, has an aerial interrupt on the ledge. Oh. So right there, the you use jump when you were in shield stun, so that's why you grabbed. Gotcha. So I had to just time it perfectly. Okay, no, nope. no, nope. okay. So it might be good to wait until the little particle effects on your shield, like if I hit your shield a bunch, you see how it like turns into like a CRT television? Mm -hmm. Wait till that goes away and then jump out of shield. Well, never mind. Oops. Bust it. Oh, boy. Nope. Nope. Oh, oh. Okay. Nice. That was like a perfect one. I got one. Hurrah. <laughs> So it looks like you missed the jump on that one. Yeah, one thing to to take note is when you get hit on the shield, you get the, you get a thing called shield stun, and different moves do different um, uh, amounts of frames of shield stun. Yeah, so and the so, stronger moves, you have more shield stun. Yeah, so uh, the more shield stun you have, the longer you have to wait. So if I'm like, oh shit, sorry, reflex. See, you have like way more shield stun if I just instead of just jabbing. Yeah, and and that causes it, it forces you to wait until the shield stun's over and to do and, anything. And and what's interesting about that is 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 there's no there's no like visual component to that. Like mm. you you just have to kind of okay, this is a harder hitting move. I'm gonna have to wait a little longer because if you do it too fast, you'll get what happens sometimes where you grab instead or you roll or you roll because you'll try to do something really quick afterwards. But it, it eats that input, basically. Th that input gets lost. 
And so it just takes the next input, which happens to be A or mm. direction. So when you're jumping like that, like you're, and you're not doing a move, you kind of like you're doing the jump and the A at like the same time. Or two. Okay. You want to kind of cascade them, but you want to cascade them super quick. Yeah, a lot of things in, in melee end up being do them almost the same time, but still make them different hits. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> that see that was so a perfect one. Nice. Hey. That's it's like three kick. now. Hurrah. That was like a perfect cascade where you're like, boom, mm. boom. It just comes out. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> so something else to kind of talk about, um, too, with this is right now you're doing the Nair, and if you notice, your leg sticks out for quite a long time. Mm. Not all aerial moves are like that. So there are certain moves that you can just do once, but there are other moves where, especially if you do a full hop, you can sometimes do two of them before hitting the ground. Ah. Uh, so I think her fair is one of those moves. And so one of the reasons why she is so good is she can kind of compound the amount of fairs that she's doing um, in a row. So she'll do like one full jump and, it, and be able to throw out two of them and then do a double jump and do another one. So she can do three. And depending on how high, she, how, how high up she is, maybe even like four, depending on the situation. But, and then, of course, you have the fact that fair auto cancels, like we were saying yesterday. So auto canceling being... You won't. You, it, it. You don't have to to to, to L cancel that move. Um, it makes it really easy for her to just do another jump and do more fares. So you can just rain fares down in Africa if you want to. Hey, oh Toto. Oh God. <laughs> nice. That's like five now. Hurrah. Well, you're getting some, you're, like, there's some that you're getting at low percent that are hidden. Um, They're hidden. But they just don't oh, send anywhere. Oh, sorry. Because I'm at low percent. Yeah, like, like that one hit. Yeah, that, see, that was like a part. See, these are good. Matt and I earlier were watching this old video of uh, uh, when they had Steve Vai come in to do the uh, the soundtrack, well the, well, the theme song for Halo 2, the mm -hmm. guitar. And, the, and, and they have this video where, like, literally it's, like, it's him in the studio and he's, like, put it together and you can hear him, like, you, you can hear in parts where he's just jamming, like, parts that eventually became part of the, uh, the, uh, the actual uh, theme. And it was just super cool. And now I just have this song stuck in my head. <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh, God. Oh, yep, yep. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the, oh. the coffee and everything. <coughs> <coughs> I'm dying. I'm finishing the fight. <coughs> <laughs> I'm Halo Chief. You know what's really kind of funny about Sheik? Is when you uh, do your... Your your aerial needles, 
mm. and they stick into the ground. Yeah, they, you can hit them. They're in they're the ground. Physical yeah, they're items. physical objects. So w- weird them. stuff can happen with them. Yeah. Yeah, like if 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 if, if one's in, in the ground, you can have situations where someone will, will, it's it's very rare, but it happens sometimes where someone will try to like you have to jump and and, and throw them into the ground to see yeah. it. But you see them all on the ground there, mm. and they're there for a little bit, and uh, you you can have situations where people will hit that. And, yeah, and it'll, and it'll mess move. up their L cancel timing or whatever because it's like hitting a. Oh, that too. Yeah, it's like hitting a little needle in the ground, basically. Oh, yeah. Huh. The so more you know. We can try some B turnarounds. B turnarounds. Yeah. So, so these are where you're uh, because we we're talking about how you can. Um, uh, let's switch to Falco. It's easier. Oh, okay. Yeah. So so the concept for this Me is too. yeah yeah yeah. Um, when you're doing the needles and you can interrupt the needles in the air, mm-hmm. um, you can do a thing in the middle of that where you can turn yourself around. Yeah. All right. So, you like? Can you short hop with Falco? Oh, oh you can. God. Oh yeah. Wow, Falco's easier than Sheik. Yeah. All right. So, the movement for this is actually pretty simple. When you're facing like left, right, this. You want to jump and then hit right, right? Like, so in the air, you hit right, and then you just hit B, and you'll turn around. So jump and then and then right B. Yeah. And right. so right Fuck. needs to come a little bit yeah. m- more before B there, because yeah. you'll do a side B if you mess it up. Fuck. <laughs> Don't worry, dude. I did this, like, often. So it's jump, right... B. Yeah. Right? Don't hold right. Yeah. Just just no. tap right. Uh, I see. Yeah. I guess we should have said that. Oh fuck. My bad. It's all good. Fuck. Fuck. I like the little shuffle back. <laughs> so you can do like crazy shit like like Oh like retre- retreating lasers. Yeah. It's harder to do on that play. Well, that's true. A lot of this stuff will be more difficult yeah. while we're on that play. So if like you're not getting lag. it 100% of the time, that's, that's okay. You're probably doing it just fine, but most of it, but because of the slight lag, yeah. it could, could be messing you up. So if you look at my analog stick, like, so which way do you want to go, left or right? I will just do it this way. All right. So you, you like jump, and then you just like. It's like a one, two, three. So yeah. Jump right B. Yeah, jump right B. <laughs> and Matt literally just like, he doesn't move his, he doesn't just move his stick, he like flicks his stick. Yeah. Don't be afraid to smack the stick around, dude. No, I don't want to hurt the stick. Oh, God. Stick can take a lot of punishment. Yeah, okay. So you're hitting B at the same time as you're hitting right. So Four. you kind of want the stick to be back at neutral. Which is why you flick it usually. Yeah. There you go. The and what's interesting is that you don't do that turnaround unless, but like, like it, it depends on the B move getting hit. Yeah. Which is kind of funny because you're hitting the direction before the B move comes out, but somehow it takes that input and carries it over to when you do the B move and causes you to turn around and use the move. And it's really yeah. useful with Sheik because you, uh, your your neutral B is... is uh, The needles. Is, is the needles. Mm. And so you can do this thing where you, you do the B move to turn around while you're charging needles and then press shield to stop charging the needles and then all of a sudden you're facing a different way. So you can do cool stuff like run off the stage, do a needle turnaround, which is what it's called, and then you'll have your back to the person, and you can like backer them, and then yeah. Just so you can be like, uh, and then turn around, and grab yeah. the stage. Nice. And it just adds like another layer of movement onto everything else. Nice. And, and not every character has a useful way of doing this. Like Samus doesn't really. I mean, she kind of. She kind of has nice like 
a turnaround thing, but it's 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 easier because look at look, look, look at my man oh, who did like four in a row. <laughs> oh god, now you brought attention to it. Damn it. So the timing Fuck. isn't really that strict with like Falco and stuff like that. So you can you have some time. Like you were doing it like when you had the four in a row, you weren't really like slamming the B button like after you hit right. Yeah, you can wait a tad yeah, you longer can wait. than you think. Yeah. To to hit the B button after hitting the direction. But of course it's always good to try to get it as quick as possible just for Yeah. Yeah. But you have you have uh um, um, what is it? You, you have time. I don't know. There's a word I was looking for. Yeah. But with Falco, you, yeah, you, you, it's good to like run and then like retreating lasers. Hey, catch me, bitch. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Yeah. Uh. And when Matt's doing that, he's literally like, like, hey, thanks for the follow. Thanks for the follow. Ken Bra Kent Brady is what it is. Yeah. Um, and when that's doing that, he's literally flicking to the right to move a little bit, and then immediately flicking, uh, well, and, and then immediately jumping. So it's, it's it's all just like these short, these short kind of stunted. Of yeah, yeah, it's all like, it's yeah. like a staccato, like music, basically. Well, I wanted to say staccato, but I wasn't sure if that was a term that this you know, kid was was uh, privy to. Yeah, it's staccato. It's with the sticks. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, sticks. it's staccato because you use the analog stick. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> uh, but I'm yeah, a musical genius. Yeah, staccato is like Fuck. dun 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 dun. Like, yeah, instead of long notes, it's like it's like short bursts of notes. Nah. So, when it was Matt and I, because I I almost said staccato too, but I I stopped myself because I was like I'm not sure if this is something that translates. Yeah. But trust me, dude, I when I was trying alert. to learn the shit, like, this is me trying to do lasers. Like, I'm right, I'm like right here. I'm like, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to shoot a laser this way. And I'd be like, nope. <laughs> and he'd do that in the middle of a match. Yeah. Uh, there was a period where Matt would like SD, um, which we should probably explain some of the terms we use sometimes, but SD meaning self-destruct, kill himself off the ledge. Oh, off the stage. Like at least twice a game because he was trying to do that. No oh boy. Matt got it right but then messed up. Oh, they didn't think it right. Yeah. So, so we can try to do it with Sheik. With Sheik it's a, it's a little weirder. But at least this time you won't be like side being off the ledge. You'll just be doing right. that. Are you doing it? Matt? Occasionally a chain. Yeah. Well, Hers, yeah. hers, you have to flick. Yeah, hers, you have to do quickly. You have to fl flick hers. And and yeah, so so you're doing it there. So if yeah. you just change uh, your, your your button presses to instead of just pressing the the B once, you won't you won't you hold it down. That way you don't just throw the needle. Although you can, that's definitely a move you can do. Um, but then if if you do everything the same, but then just hold it, you'll be charging afterwards, and then um, you'll get. As you get better, you can you can um, add on the uh, the shield press to interrupt it, yeah. so you won't land. Oh god! You won't land while holding the needles. You'll land just like normal. Yeah. Okay. So honestly, it might be easier for you to, to like run a little bit and then flick back and then hit B. Yeah. So the flick is is definitely needed. So you want to do like yeah i mean he's he's, he's definitely doing yeah. it yeah the, the only other thing to add on is just pressing um shield to to interrupt it so you can just do the the quick needle pull because usually when you're doing oh, this you're, you're not always doing it with the purpose of charging the needles you're doing it as like a way a to way turn to turn around. around yeah basically yeah but but, but in the air Fuck. nice Nice. Yeah, that's it. Look at that shit, dude. Now oh, fuck. I'm a real chic bane. In that uh, in that combo, uh, the, that tech video that I have, there's a whole thing mm -hmm. about the chain and how apparently you can swing at a certain rate to get optimal damage out of it. <laughs> the chain is stupid. Okay. Yeah. 
It's so funny. Baby, baby, I'm licking you. <laughs> I'm not touching. When you see Bay oh. getting dressed. <laughs> Get over here. And I can't even. Her hand, too, when she does it, it's so like. Yeah, like, it's ooh, weird. Ooh, 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 ooh. It doesn't move at all. It's just a palm out. It's like. Eh. Mm, 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 mm. It's so like. Oh, boys. Yugi boy. Oh, boys. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo. Woohoo. Um, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so if we want to do that a couple more times, um, and then we can do uh, like recovery stuff or like stuff having to do with the upbeat, basically. Yeah, because that's going to be important. There's some cool stuff in here. You can do that thing called a vanish glide, where you do a run off upbeat. Yeah, and if you do it right, the the upbeat is in slow motion. Yeah, coming back, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I've seen. Like, I can't actually do it, though. You just do... Yeah, like that. Like that, yeah. yeah. I know, but I was like... That's hard to do. I think I think you're overthinking it. It's not about timing of, 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 of when you do it right off the ledge. Although this No, I'm, I'm saying like, I'm not hitting the, the up in time. It's, well, I was reading the thing, and you don't have to hit it, like, right on the thing. Although it's... I guess the most optimal way of doing no, it. No, you're not understanding. It doesn't matter. Uh -oh. I was hitting the chain. I was getting the chain. I was missing the timing on the up. Okay, I, I got confused because you weren't running off when you did that. So. Yeah, because I was hitting the chain. It stopped me. Oh, I see. Chain. Yeah. I mean, you're definitely getting it, dude. And you're getting the cancel barely. and everything. Well, I mean, barely is still doing it. Barely. Okay. So yeah, Matt. Um, t to do the vanish cloud, you ha you have to hit a B right around the time you hit the the line. So yeah, okay. I thought that you could just run off first, but no, you, you have to hit it as you hit that green line. Well, I've, yeah, yeah. I know. I've I, I seen was people do correcting it. myself. Yeah, what so we, we can do What's going on? Uh, some recovery stuff. Her recovery is weird. Yeah. Um, so you can like change directions, but yeah. like it's like we were talking about it yesterday and it was kind of confusing. But if you just literally, if you just up B right now and then, uh, after you, you do your first like initial oh, poof where you, where you become invisible, yeah, press to like the left or something, yeah. So after you turn invisible, no, not so what at, at a direction and after you, you vanish, yeah. Yeah, he was okay. doing that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was so confused. Sorry. Yeah. I, I, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah There's so a way you can do it where it's, it, um, and maybe it only applies when you're in the air. What's maybe. up, Mo Scrub? How's it going, Mo Scrub? Who's winning shine? Oh, I uh, mean, it's either Mango or Hungry Box, I feel. If Plup goes all Samus, I don't feel like he's going to win. Yeah. Is there a tourney going on? Yeah. Uh, did you need something? <laughs> don't worry about it. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, so she can go in, in almost any angle, like in a circle. I, th I think it's, mm. it's slightly limited to like, I think it might be, well, like, uh, not eight possible, but just over eight possible. Sixteen. It might be sixteen possible angles. It's not like a perfect circle where you can just do any specific thing. It does lock yeah, to it. Yeah, just wherever you can aim the stick at. Yeah. You can't like um, put it in between the notches or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and uh, it's a, a big thing with with Sheik, especially people who are fighting against Sheik, where once they have you off stage, yeah. there's a big question. It's are you going to the ledge or are you going above the ledge? Above the ledge, right? Because that's yeah. those are only two options. Yeah. And so when you uh, or if there's a platform right there, you can teleport. You, you to can the try to go the platform, yeah. right? But usually it's ledge or above the ledge. And so there's there's kind of a game that gets played. It's, it's like a mini game inside the game where when you're coming back and you're doing the upbeat, 
and they're and they're waiting for you. They can try to interrupt and guess that you're going to the ledge and grab the ledge first. But if they do that, then you you'll you, die. You, yeah, you'll die if you're also going for the ledge. Uh, if you scout that out, you can try to go above the ledge, and if the person's fast enough, they can plan that you're going to go above the ledge and then get up mm, yeah. and then do an attack and hit you while you're... Yeah, because her up B is, like, really bad. It's not really bad, but the lag on it is crazy. When you oh, yeah. when you land on the stage with it... Yeah, the you lag. have so much lag. And so it can be punished. Yeah, I got 15 years to be like, how do I want to kill you? Basically. <laughs> and so a lot of the game is, is, is not... Up being really? like at your first opportunity to do so, you kind of want to delay it or do it at a weird timing. Or when you're off stage, usually you'll have a double jump. You'll have like one jump available to you after you've been half the stage and waiting to use that double jump to mix up where you're at in reference to the stage so that they can't just guess exactly where you're going to be when you do it. So they yeah. can't know what your option is going to be before you do it. Um, It's, it's, it's a hard thing to practice because we, we'd have to just like knock him off the stage, basically. Yeah. But I mean, you have it down where you're able to up B and, and still grab the ledge. I mean, that's that's something that people fuck up all the time when they're first starting like Sheik or, or, or somebody who teleports. Yeah. Um, and, oh, and then that's the other thing. If you use your up B close enough to the ledge, you don't even poof. You just do like a little weird jump and grab the ledge. It's just like a disappear for a half a second. Um, a common thing that you can do that some people like to do as Sheik is called the Shino stall. And it's where you're, you've grabbed the ledge and then you press it down and then you up B pretty quickly afterwards. Oh, Matt just down B. You can also use Zelda recover, but like no one wants to do that. Nobody wants to be Zelda. She's got cooties. Yeah, so you need to drop from the ledge and fast fall down, but then you'll need to up be straight up, appearing just over the ledge and you, uh, your hop slash explosion. If the up B gets angled at the ledge, she'll regrab the ledge afterwards. And this is a way to um, stay on the ledge if you feel like it's unsafe for you to come back up right away. And uh, if you do it, if you do it fast enough, I believe you have invincibility. Yeah. No. But you kind of have to angle towards the ledge. Yeah. But still get that that explosion out do you want to avoid doing it and then doing that okay. weird thing where you just pop back up and not explode mm -hmm. basically just show up oh god hold on one second oh god that's right it gives Matt a chance to practice sh sh Shino stalling so he can demonstrate yeah it's weird there you go that was it wasn't it yeah I think who else is in the top eight that has an opportunity to win shine? Wouldn't it be crazy if Esfat won? Yeah. The I way really he was playing. Yeah. I don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah. I kinda like I kinda want Mango to win. I mean he was playing so well yesterday. But it's 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 Yeah, fuck. See if I can read more on this on, on this instruction to make sure that we're getting this right. I guess I can just read it out and you can try to interpret. So it says Sheik's Shino stall is one of the best ledge stalls in the game. Ledge stall being that she it's 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 something that that keeps you invincible at the ledge, so you're you're safe. Um, due to the fact that it's completely intangible and throws out a hitbox on the ledge, that's the explosion. The explosion actually will hit somebody when you when you do it. Um, it's not unbeatable, but it's pretty difficult to grab. The ledge from so learning this technique is a staple in many sheik's play so to perform she needs to drop the ledge and fast fall down she will then need to up be straight up appearing just over the ledge with her with her explosion if the up b gets angled at the ledge she will regrab the ledge afterwards and then it gives more information so if you uh you'll notice when you're doing the um that weird little hop instead of doing the up b that's because mm -hmm. your body is hitting the wall too early in the animation um so there's that little um it, it doesn't look like it but that little spinning part of the stage just underneath it it's it's 
um, for lack of a better term, its hitbox or it, it, its tangible portion is actually just outside of that spinning. So you're, uh, you're yeah, yeah. still technically hitting it most of the time. Um, let me see if I can get Fine. more information here. Starting the upbeat. Oh, and then quarter circling to the ledge is the best way to get the Shino stall without messing up directions. Yeah, of course. Fine. Oh, yeah, so dude. this is after I've been there. This is after you've dropped off the ledge, and then you want to start the upbeat and then quarter circle. So moving from the up position just directly towards the ledge quickly. After you've done the Yo, this is hard. Is it hard? Well, yeah, you're going from a straight up diet, straight up to yeah. like a quarter circle. Yeah. And you had to make sure the up goes through, so. Yeah, you don't get switched into fucking Zelda. And you don't get the little weird pop that happens. Yeah. Is this the best stage to practice on? I mean, he's practicing on the stage two in the video, but. Yeah, fuck a duck. I wonder how you, uh, uh, when you're, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to figure out. I've gotten it twice. I think Fist Kick, I saw you get it once. I was, uh, how is that even possible? I was holding up almost the entire time. Ugh. Okay, so he's doing it way faster. <laughs> two, 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 two. Oh, God. I don't know why it's in that direction, but whatever. <laughs> uh, the teleports, like, are weird. Yeah. Where... Like, if you're holding, like, a where you think, you're like, yeah, this will work. Mm. Sometimes, it, like, it's it might think you're, like, going to collision with the um, terrain. Terrain, and it'll, like, push you. Like, you're yeah. like, but I didn't even aim that way. You're so like, when, it's really bad in Smash 4. Yeah, in Smash 4, it's okay. really bad. And, and this is it's, just, it's not as bad, but you, you can think of it as, like, you're not really, like, you're just invisible. You're not intangible when you're teleporting. And so sometimes mm. you can... It feels like you... Uh, yeah, you can't wall ride with a teleport. Yeah, you can't just ride. Yeah, so you have to go right for the ledge. But also do a quarter circle towards the stage? Well, towards the ledge. Oh, but, so like it's a diagonal quarter circle? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. And when you're doing it, like, I, I, I wonder if maybe I should just send you the video just so you have it. But uh, the guy, he he's doing it really fast. And mm -hmm. it, um, you'll know you're doing it right when your up B uh, ends up like like the poof for the up B is above the stage slightly. Yeah. So he does the he, he presses down and then immediately up B's. Fuck. Yeah. But in order yeah, to get like, in order to get the thing the where stage. you don't happen w w with Matt is you need to fast fall it. That's the thing. So the fast fall needs to come out and then the up B. Nope. Damn it. Nope. Damn it. Damn it. I think that was not, I think it was mm -hmm. it, but it was like kind of a low one. Fuck. Yeah. Yo, I think we should move on. Okay, we can move on. Well, now <laughs> you know it exists, and and I'll send you the video of these techniques, and you can look at it, and and if you want to work on anything in particular, you can. Perfect. Um, she. We can do some chain grabbing, kind of loosen ourselves up. Okay. Whoops. Finger slip. Likely excuse. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no. I'm just stupid. Shit. <laughs> so when you get at a higher percent, you want to delay the grab a little bit. Yeah, yeah so you got it. You got it. Forgot about that. Now, when I get to 150, charge mm -hmm. and up smash. So. 
This one, charge and up smash. Yeah. All right, do it again. Charge up smash. There we go. So that's an, wow. Yeah, that's something that is pretty standard to Sheik after doing the, the chain grab. Now, granted, um, like we were saying before, this is this is so like overpowered in, in this yeah. matchup specifically that um, they have a gentleman's agreement where they just don't do it. Yeah. But sometimes you'll see it. It's a rare treat in a tournament where they just don't have the, they just don't do it. Like one person will just do it a little bit and then the other person's like, all right, game on. And then they'll just fucking chain grab them to death. No oh god. <laughs> yeah, so at the lower percents, so you're still Can doing like 150%, yeah. Yeah, you you can kind of look at um Matt Sheik and at lower percents, you want to wait for the the legs to be towards you, but then later on you want to wait it, it kind of slowly curves to where the torsos in, in front of you when you're getting the grab. Actually the same with Fox and Falco too, I think. Yeah. The 150 charge up smash. Oh, yeah. not bad. Nailed it. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. If you don't feel comfortable doing the the charge, you could just um, uh, yeah. just hit C yeah. stick up, and you'll just do it. You'll just do an uncharged up smash. Yeah. Did you do that? Man? No. Oh, I guess you're you're at a high enough percent where, yeah, uh, at higher percents, <laughs> uh, the characters will will both go Fall higher further. and flo float slightly further away sometimes and so you have to mm. adapt a little bit um and actually the adaptation of throwing them up instead might be a good one um also uh, uh you'll see sometimes where so they need to be quicker yeah just slightly quicker so like with the legs facing you is when you do the grab yeah still too slow there, there we go. go. It's like once you get the timing, like it feels real good. It, it feels much better. But you'll see, um, at, uh, at, in in certain situations, um, the player after doing a series of, of grabs like this, they won't go for the up smash necessarily, depending on yeah, how far away so they're flying away. At one fifty this time, just forward air me. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Is often they'll just, just forward it. air, and that then oh. that'll like just launch the guy off the stage usually. So like right here, oh, that, forward smash. No, grab, grab first. Okay. And then just throw, and then there we go. Ah, nice. uh, I see. Yeah, see. I was confident that you could get the forts or the the fort air, but I you know, wanted you to do it out of the grab. Yeah. And you could probably even it, it, uh, 150 is not a hard number. You can you can do it earlier if you want to. Yeah. It's all about. Because you, you can try to get like the optimal, because maybe the optimal percentage is 130 or something, mm -hmm. or 120. Um, and even if you get too low of a one, you can still get the forward air usually and then follow up with something else if it turns out not to be the perfect amount. Gotcha. So we'll do another Ford Air at 150. I think he's starting to get away. I'm not behind him. Oh, I know. It's just. Oh. oh nice. Nope. <laughs> Isn't that crazy that the, the Ford Air is more powerful than the, the, the Ford Smash? God damn it. But why? So, why? Why no jump? Because <laughs> I think you're 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 going for God the the jump button slightly too quickly. You're not out of the animation for the throw just yet. Oh god. Nice. Yeah. There's these things in, in, in the game they call them um, I A S A frames, but it's inactable as soon as frames, and each move has a different time where you're able to. 
Um, I think it's interrupt as, as soon as they have a dream time when, when you're able to interrupt it. And uh, so just be cognizant of the fact that not every move has the same time that you can get out of it all the time and, right. and do something else. We'll do some tech chasing. So that chain grab works on Sheik, but you don't really have a chain grab on the rest of the cast. You have one on Ganondorf. But it's not down throw, I don't think. It is. It is down throw? Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure. It hurts me. All, it's all down throw. It's all down throw for her? Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> it's always down throw. Uh, with this one, you're going to want to tech chase. So that's, that's going to try to tech. Yeah. And then you're going to run and grab me again. Yeah. And so I'll take to the left. Like I'll always take to the left over here. Mm. So let's go like right here. That way I have some room. Or you have some room. And you just run and grab. Yeah. And you it's can do the jump cancel grab too. If, yeah. Which is slightly faster, I believe. Mm -hmm. So grab, down throw. And then that's going to try to attack it. Missed the tech. But you had the right idea. And right, now I'm going to tech to the right. Nope. Sick. Nope. Oh, shit. After a while, you, you're probably good enough where you can just kind of like toss Matt around and he can just tech however. And the a lot read. Of, yeah, and, and uh, <laughs> uh, 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 she gets fast enough where uh, usually you can you can kind of tell after, like in the first couple of, I don't know, I wouldn't say frames, but the first like moment of you, uh, you can t kind of tell which way he's going to be rolling. And then mm. you can react and, and, and still get it. Because right there, you overshot because she's even almost too fast if, yeah. if you know what's happening. So imagine if you don't know which way he's going to go, you still yeah, have you time. You can just down throw me at the at that point. I can take, go take him back to the right. Oh, boy. And this will only get easier too when you get better at um, dash dancing, because you'll be able mm -hmm. to do things like change your, your your direction really quickly if you know you're going to overshoot or if you're going to head the wrong direction. No oh, shit. Whoops. Okay. A pretty good back throw. At okay. Forty percent. So like I'm at a percent now, just like down smash when I land. Just down smash. Mm hmm. Oh, <laughs> that just fell right off the little ledge. Move a little bit in, maybe. Yeah. Oh, match. No, it just doesn't matter now. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So I'm going to start attacking randomly, and then you just oh, kind of react. Shit. Bad. My bad. Matt, did you want to like, um, like, uh, I don't know, crouch or jab or something like that when you're, as soon as you're yeah. able to, to kind of give him a, an idea? I was going to start doing that. So Matt's going to do something out of it to let you know when you've you're just too been late. slightly yeah. too late. I, I wouldn't say shine because that's kind of. Yeah, it's going to take forever. But like maybe jab or just a crouch right. or something like that. So you kind of know when you've been slightly too slow because there's a window where Matt can't do anything. You just get a grab. Yeah, like that. I couldn't do anything. Because check ch tech chasing is really good, but if mm. you miss the the window of doing it, you can get punished. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just like barely pressing the button, she moves like 100 feet. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, that's it's a hard thing to get used to because you, you almost feel like okay, I, I, I don't want to press it too hard because I'll overshoot it. Like you can kind of mm-hmm. second guess it. I get that feeling with uh, in Smash Four Zero Suit Samus, and she does her um, her her dash grab. Uh, she actually slides forward a little bit, and so it messes me up because I'm used to not doing an extra slide when it happens, mm-hmm. and I always overshoot it. Neil. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Got him. Oh, man, I'm so good at Smash. Call me, call me Mango Kick. You know what I'm saying, guys? Oh, shit. It's fucking leaf and shit people. Um, okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to miss the tech on purpose, and then all you need to do to punish that is just jab me, and I'll stand up. Does it work at this percent? Good. All right, so yeah, when he down throw, Matt's going to miss it, and then right... Like literally right as he's landing on the ground, you can just jab and it'll it'll, it'll force, force his character to, to stand up. Yeah, and I won't be able to do anything. And it's different than just him teching in place because it's actually not only is it involuntary, it's also a longer amount of time that he can't act out of it. And you can do all sorts of cool stuff with it. So it's called a jab reset. And if if you jab him, you can like charge a down smash, or you can get another grab, or you can charge an up smash, or you can do a bunch of different stuff. You have time to do things. Yo, cool. this guy. Your mm. percent is at 69, and your name is 69. Heyo, sex number, sex number. Okay. It's actually a thing in Somebody. Arizona. Yeah. It's like a little joke oh, that they 69. have, where if you're at 69%, you can't be stopped. And you. <laughs> so yeah, oh, just yeah. Okay. down throw, and I'll miss the tech, and then you jab me. See? Yeah. That's, that's the jab reset. Like, I literally, I can't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> So that's that's the that's basically the punishment for, because you you would think, well, why don't they just miss the tech and yeah. then do a get up attack? So at this point, you're you're hitting me too soon. Oh, so yeah, the percents matter. Yeah, you're hitting me too soon. You gotta wait for me to land on the ground. Yeah, I actually see. I, I might be at this. Pers- uh, I'm too high to get preserved. Oh yeah, are you are you just now just too high? Yeah, I'm too okay, high. Okay, so I'm so high right now. Oh. But yeah, so it's always good to. Wow, that was like that was like real quick. It was just like, oh, let me just jab reset. Yeah. But and and, and so that's kind of part of the uh, the rock paper scissors nature of of, of of some of these interactions. You're if if you know you put enough pressure on the other player and you're moving really fast, you can kind of sometimes guess that they're gonna miss the tech, mm-hmm. and then you can capitalize on it and get the jab reset. Yeah. Also, uh, like if I miss time the. The tech, like if you delay your grab, and I'm like, he's gonna grab immediately. So like, grab me, and then hit A. Nope. Sure. Okay. Yeah, that was down. Reflex. <laughs> so like, if you grab and then like, kind of mix up the timing with like a, a, pummel. a pummel. Yeah, by hitting him. So. Uh, yeah, these are called pummels when you hit. And so you can mix it up where if 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 you do even just do if you're just grabbing a lot and just throwing down, but then you just hit him once and throw him down, um, Matt mm-hmm. might expect to get a, a tech. But it'll cause him to hit the tech too soon, and then he'll miss it. And so you can kind of force a situation where you can yeah. jab, jab reset and get something else out of it. Yeah, so at this point, I'm too high for jab resets. You can kill Matt if you want to. Yeah. So I'm just gonna... Closer, please. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Closer, please. Closer. Thank you. So let's uh, we'll do some more tech chasing for a bit and then we can do like a review and then we do some games. Yeah. Okay. And just remember all your aerials should be done with C stick. Besides besides Nair. Nair because you can't. That's a necessity. Oh, did you just jab reset him right now, dude? (laughs) The student has become the master. So like, wait, 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 wait. So I can hit you down and then I can shoot a laser and jab reset you with the laser. <laughs> Hard though. Yeah, Matt's not to me before. It's pretty crazy. Another thing to, um, I guess, let you know that exists, because I realize you, 
you're coming in without even just like playing the game casually really um mm -hmm. but and i'm not sure if you remember this from smash 4 but you can you can struggle out of getting a grab uh, out of getting grabbed so um, yeah, you can mash buttons right yeah yeah you can mash buttons or move your control stick um and as you get to higher percents the amount you have to struggle to get out is is more um and one way to mitigate to make sure that the person doesn't struggle out immediately especially mm. if you're not going to throw them right away is by pummeling them because the, the more you pummel them the more you tack on extra time that they like extra inputs that they have to put in to be able to struggle out gotcha yeah and any time in here you can you can grab matt and then do a jab and then mix him up and get a jab reset off of it if if if, if not like this percent well no, not this percent but Oh, yeah, down smash. Oh, you literally can't come back from that. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Um. Yeah, you just beat up on. Uh, Do what? You you, you want to fight? <laughs> oh no, we're fighting. Oh Jesus. Nailed it. Oh, we didn't really do the review, but I forgot. We'll do a review at the end. Ooh, you had the right read. It's, it's just like not too the right quick execution. <laughs> Kind of a neat thing about playing against Fox or Falco. Well, people also call them spacies because they're space oh. animals. But I was just Worth. about to tell you um, <laughs> that uh, when Matt does his up B, where he has that little fire thing that comes out, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he has a period of time where he is not moving. With Falco, it's like much worse. Yeah, and the reason why it's much worse versus Falco is when Fox has his little fire thing before he actually does his up B, he has a hitbox that comes out that it hurts you if you if you uh are too late coming at him but mm. falco doesn't have that hitbox and so as long as he's out there doing his little startup for his up b you can just hit him so something to remember and matt's game when he's off stage is is he gonna up b or is he gonna side b to do that little teleportation thing and if you can get him into a situation where he has to up b then you can force a situation where then you can just run out and just hit him and kill a stock and Matt tries is, is trying to avoid situations he has to use his up B so that doesn't happen to him, obviously. Ow, no. No. <laughs> Literally, that happens every fucking, like, like uh, way <laughs> often. Somebody kills somebody, and then they're just like, I'm just going to run around in the middle of the stage. And the other person comes down and just fucking kills them. Murder. That's something that we haven't talked about is yeah, crouch, crouch canceling. canceling. If you're crouching, you can tank moves sometimes. Yeah, so you won't take the knockback so of like, the move. Ah, uh, I see. So you can until choose, a certain percent. Yeah, it, obviously you don't want to telegraph that you're trying to trying to couch, crouch cancel. So you'll you'll want to crouch just before you get hit by something, and then if the person's expecting to get the hit, they'll try to follow up, and then you've you've got the jump on them. And again, you don't really want to be using up be like that if you can avoid Man. it. You can come down with like a down air or or something like or that nair. or nair. Nair would be good. Nair's good because it has just a generally like just like good hitbox below you. And it removes the hair from your body. <laughs> exactly. So if I'm like right here, you can like just run out and forward air. Yeah, you can forward air or you can shoot needles. Mm, yeah, that's true. That's another thing too. 
is because yeah. Matt's going to try to create situations where he's going to side B, yeah. so he doesn't have to use his up B because it's so punishable. Um, if you throw needles out when Matt's off stage like that and he's and he's trying to side B back, depending on his height, you can hit him with the needle and it'll interrupt him and it'll force him to do another recovery option. Yeah. And if he's not expecting yeah. it, he could just die. Also, your needles, if you just throw them like right, like throw a needle. Like her needles on her hitbox are so big that mm. like you pretty much have to be perfect or you'll get hit by them. Yeah. Yeah, it's a much bigger hitbox than you think it is because you think it's just a little needle, but it has like a little, little s s square or circle around it where it hits. Yeah, try not to forget about teching either. If you're in tumble when you're falling, mm. then you can uh, tech it. Nice. You're intimidated by my needle, I see. <laughs> I wasn't. I, I was a little worried about it. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. So, like, Spencer plays Samus, and we talked a little bit about the crouch canceling. Mm -hmm. Literally, Samus's whole game is, it revolves around crouch canceling. The oh, bitch really? can crouch cancel literally up until, like, 150%, where my freaking Jesus. crouch cancel, like, gets broken at, like, 40 Yeah, she's tanky as fuck. It's nice. like she's wearing a giant piece of armor or something. Yeah. And and a common thing that people bitch about when they play against Samus is the fact that she's able to crouch cancel and then just down smash them. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't want to always shoot needles. Like right there would have been a great time to... Uh, yeah, smash. Down yeah, smash. Down or smash. Even down tilt sometimes. Depending yeah, on down tilt is good. Because you want gotcha. a hitbox that goes slightly below the ledge to hit him before he, he he's able to grab it. And um, one thing to keep note is, I, I don't know if, does Falco and Fox have like a perfect hitbox where they can't get hit? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so everyone has, um, what's a it called? Spot. A, a sweet spot when they up B to the ledge where if they get it perfectly, you can't hit them. But most of the time it's, it's not that you can't hit them, but the window for them being hit is, is, is the so hardest. It's the hardest part. It's the hardest possible window that it. Yeah, but I just don't want to tell you that, oh, you can always just use a move that is, that goes below the stage and you'll just hit them mm. because there are situations where it is just harder. That way you're not like, what am I doing wrong? No, no. Nice. I like the back throws. Thank you. Thank you. Some nice... Uh being cognizant of uh, where you're at on stage. Oh. oh shit. Oh. Nope. God damn it. Uh, I didn't recover fast enough. <laughs> So it looked like you had the right idea. It looked like you were going to go for a grab right there. Yeah, but just didn't. 
wasn't fast enough. Oh fuck! Oh what? shit! Okay. Yeah, you, fast you, fell right off that. Yeah, fast fell. Look at that dude Whoops. using terms and everything correctly. Yeah, I know how to shine and wave dash and forward smash and jump cancel the hard cancels and then shield cancels and then fucking crouch cancel. So many cancels. cancels. I know all the cancels. I know every cancel. I know how to cancel anything. So if I'm like behind in the game, I'll do this as Spencer. <laughs> Just I'm over here. No here. <laughs> Make him work for it. Yep. Oh, nice. Ooh, next time we can work on options off the ledge. That'll be fun. Whoops. No, oh, almost. So I made a um a a a, a new Slack group for Smash stuff. Oh no, so much Slack. And it's just something where we can dump links and info, so we have like a place where you can grab it. But I I put. The tech video where it has just a bunch of cool chic specific tech in there mm -hmm. and then i also put a link to uh the hitbox and frame data thing and what that is oh, is they boy. have little gifts of uh, i'm playing by the way now um they have right. little gifts where they have uh they've they've changed how the character looks where it'll show how big each of the hitboxes are depending on the on the attack and so you'll know when you're using a move um how big you have how much area around the hit you have to be able to hit somebody and it also tells you what percentage of damage something does so you'll know like what your powerful moves are too so just something to look at so you'll be like oh I, I i always miss with this with like down air or something like that and then you can you can just be like oh that's why i'm missing because it only hits right here and then you'll know next time to line it up better yeah, yeah. a little so, smash slack yeah smash slack um smash slack where do you want to go this good I don't care. Surprise me. Let's go to Yoshi's story. That wasn't a surprise. You love Yoshi's Island, don't you? Her story. I do love Yoshi's story. It's really bad against Matt's characters. <laughs> As ah, <Sam's>. that's <laughs> Oh, that was sick. Thank you. What's crazy is that it doesn't take you very long to start doing like cheat stuff. When Spencer played Sheik after we've been playing for like a year, he would mm. do it and then he would just be playing Samus but as Sheik. He yeah. still does that shit. <laughs> if I switch any other character, I'm doomed, so I'm not going to try to do anything else right now. <laughs> I can maybe do Gandorf only because I you know, played him that one time. Mm -hmm. but... Oh, look at that. Oh, shit. The extensions. Oh, no. Yeah, they got. So you notice, like, when you get the down throw with uh, uh against Samus, al although I am at a higher percent, but I fly like way differently than like Falco does. Nice. Oh, nice. The sixty-nine monster. <laughs> it's impossible. He's got the power of the sex number. He can't be stopped. Oh shit. Button didn't do button. So overall, how are you enjoying Smash? Not too bad. It's a uh, pretty. Oh no, yeah. I'm. I'm yeah. <laughs> Information overload. No, uh, I'm enjoying Smash. I just uh, got a long ways to go and lots of practice, but. Yeah, I, mean, mo I do mostly. Enjoy it. Yeah, you have most of the stuff down now. It's just like 
Yeah, on a, like you pretty much practice. have literally all the basics. You just need to. Um, do I'm curious some. that last like fifteen percent, yeah, which takes a long implement. time. Yeah, and then yeah. once you're able to to effectively implement the move you want to be doing in any given situation, then it comes down to well, what's the what's the the better move to use here? What's not going to get me punished or what's going to? Oh, nice runoff fair. Yeah, that's pretty good. And that just comes with playing the game. Yeah. Like, we learned how to uh, wave dash, like, what, like, like the fourth time we ever played Smash, right? And then didn't implement it until, like, episode, <laughs> like, 200. Oof. Yeah. Nope. You know? So, like, it takes, it takes oh, some God. time to. Yeah. Oh, no. To, oh, shit. To just be like, all right, I got to. Um, implement it, you know. Yeah. And it's the same with all new tech. Like, I just learned how to uh, smash, turn around, or smash, turn around, pivot, back air. And like, I Damn. can do it, but like, where does it fit? <laughs> where, where do I put it at? Yeah. So it, <clears throat> it's like just stuff like that. Like, just gotta implement it. Oh yeah, your 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 needles can interrupt my my missiles. I forgot about that. Oh. Now, one thing to try to remember is that don't be afraid to run out and do something if you think that you can uh, interrupt or 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 get somebody. Because sometimes the difference between winning a game and and ending up being uh, mm -hmm. losing it is just because you you just happened to hesitate going out there that one time uh, when you could have killed somebody. And I do I do that. I, I'm a, like, I, I have a problem with that sometimes where I don't feel confident that I can just go out and mm. get it done when it's absolutely possible. I have a different problem where I'm up three stocks and then Spencer's recovering. I'm like, I can go out there and then I'll die. And I'll be like, I got a stock left. I can go out there. So I'll go out there and die at like 10%. I'm like, all right, maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't do that. So I'm on my last stock. <laughs> it's usually like right after I like fuck up the uh, four, the four stock. I'm like, all right, I'm going to get a four stock. Then Spencer kills me. I'm like, <laughs> fuck it. Who cares anymore? Let me play it crazy. <laughs> I don't care. I have nothing to live for. Oh, no. Let me play. Let me play oh, shit. Captain Falcon. I'm, I'm bad at Captain Falcon, so. This will be fun. Show me your moves. Nice. So yeah, and just try kind to of... work in the C stick when you can. Oh yeah, okay. for the aerials. Uh. Kevin Falcon is is um, might be kind of fun to play against because he's kind of combo food. Like his his weight and the way he flies really like uh, is mm. is easy to like line in. And, oh shit! Also, he just kills himself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Okay. Stop killing yourself, God. <laughs> Oh, well. What the fuck happened there? He poofed uh, you and then you bounced off the thing because you don't know how to tech. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all part of my master plan. I I know your weaknesses and your strength. Strength. Oh, 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 if you'd done another up tilt. Oh. Or not up tilt, sorry, uh, uh, four tilt. Mm. Whoops, so much up here. Always funny watching Spencer play a fast character. Oh, okay. Yeah, you that's, don't that's turn fine. around uh, when you up B. Well, you can, but like it's. There's that that position like, was put it towards the ledge. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. I, I had some bad DI on that one. I'll play Captain Falcon again. What up, uh, Timo? 
What's that? It's going Timo. I almost called him Tat Captain Timo. Captain Timo. Oops. Also, you're kind of doing dash attack a lot, so I would just try to mix it up with something mix else. Mix it up with like maybe grab or um, a short hop, like aerial of some kind. Okay. Oh. Whoa, that was weird. Also, don't be afraid to shield. Oh, yeah. I forgot that's a thing. Nice. Nope. Yeah, disrespect him. He tried to falcon no, punch you. No, I'm trying to. No. <laughs> Just Using his for cowards. <laughs> be afraid. Shield us for cowards. Okay. <laughs> That's what Timo says. But he plays Timo. I like Timo. style, Timo. Timo, are you up on the uh, law meta? How's my girl Evelyn doing? Let's see, I miss her. It was a good DI. That's not what I want to know, God. I ain't ever played uh, T Lee. Oh, okay. Just because your name is Timo. I figured. I think we talked about this before. I did just buy five games, though. All beat em ups. Nice. Which ones? Like old school beat em ups or Yakuza? <laughs> or just Yakuza? <laughs> I guess well, I can't. Kind of like I can't think yeah. of any other modern <laughs> uh, beat em up. Dude, Yakuza is fun. Mm. I was doing the uh, the uh, the karaoke. Oh yeah, <laughs> dude, I love the karaoke in that game because they're like the first song you do. So they oh, do yeah. fucking the uh, uh, like they're playing on a stage and shit. It's hilarious. Mm. She moved oh, yeah, one they and do, two like, every song into like a music video essentially. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Uh, Shimu 1 and 2 remasters Return to Arkham Because I put off Getting Arkham Asylum And City for far too long And yes I got Yakuza Oh fuck So I uh, Also have Shimu 1 and 2 And I tried to Play it And the controls I just can't They're so bad They're tank yeah, controls it's very, Yeah it's very old school It's uh, uh Yeah <laughs> I didn't get it eventually But Probably get after I get a paycheck. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. How's your new job going? You it's like gonna it? It's going to be very, very simple. It's uh, very nice. I enjoy it. Because, like, we're not even fully set up in, like, the other clinic I work at. Mm -hmm. So I pretty much just, like, wait around for five hours at the end of the day. Oh, occasionally, like, processing pee cups. Mm -hmm. I guess, like, once they get uh, everybody situated, they'll uh, have more business there. But... I figure I'll just like read a book or something, maybe draw. I don't know. Work on, work on my graphic designs. Oh, that was pretty sick. Yeah, yeah, maybe there'll be a mod where they can edit the. Ah, okay. The uh, the controls. Oh, nice. nice. <laughs> and, and I'll tell you, fish cake. I was not trying to go easy at all. I'm just that. I, I'm, I'm just. I just. I don't play Captain Falcon, so I figured it was perfect. Like just level, oh, cool. le completely level the playing field. Uh, do you want to play a little bit more? No. no keep okay. going. All right. Um, we'll but like, I want to play Shimu. Mm. But like. I mean, as long as I don't have to use the Dreamcast controller, I feel you. 
Yeah, that was the, that was rough. Yeah, they're just it was so hard and plasticky <laughs> and huge. Some sharp edges, yeah. With well, his the like, Xbox controller was huge too. It's just they were it was more rounded out. The mm -hmm. Dreamcast was all angles and shit. Yeah. Plus, you had like a big ass computer monitor on it. Yeah, a, yeah, a tiny CRT. Too. Yeah, it was pretty fun. I enjoyed those. Ooh, literally, close. he would have been dead as hell. I got like slightly below average hand size. We have a friend, uh, his name's Coulter, who has pretty big, juicy hands, I guess. <laughs> uh, <laughs> juicy hands. So Beautiful. big controllers for him are... Um, Oh, nice. Are right, good. Them Shaquille O'Neal size, yeah. But yeah, I really want to play Shinmu, but like, oh, it's just like, so I feel like I would like it. Well, maybe Shinmu 2 would be more up your alley because it was for Xbox controllers. I can't remember if it's still the same controls, but I imagine they would have updated something since then. And really, the entirety of Shinmu is like you find out who your father's killer is, you find out he's in China, so you go to China to find him. Nice. Shinmu 1 and 2 is essentially just like a long-ass journey. It's not even like a real thing going on. Oh, God. Also, apparently there's like you have there's time gating. Where you have to wait real life hours for it to do shit? Um, maybe. I don't remember that part. I remember Jim Sterling uh, tweeted something about it. Oh, yeah. He hates it. <laughs> he hates it? Oh, he hates Shenmue, yeah. <laughs> I I didn't see the video, but it's like, why Shenmue 1 and 2 is a rubbish game? I go, oh, boy. Oh. Well, uh, Sterling, you're just trying to, you know, some people really like it. <laughs> as long as Shinmu 2 has a forklift job. Actually, I don't think fork or uh, yeah, Shinmu 2 doesn't have anything to do with forklifts. Nice. It has like a lot more fighting in it. But yeah, I was playing Yakuza Zero, and I'm like, this is sick. It's just like, and it's just like, how many games are there? Six. How many times can can what's his face get kicked out of the yakuza? Because <laughs> well, in Kiwami he gets kicked out or yeah, something, yeah. and then in two or one or in zero he's like, "I'm gonna leave because I don't want this yeah. to fall back on my the guy who got us into the yakuza." And then the people are like, "Yeah, it doesn't really matter though because we're still gonna yeah. blame him." And he's like, "Oh shit!" Yeah. Didn't think this one through. He's like. It's like, I'll be just a civilian because then I can still work, but not work as a Yakuza. Now, technically, he only gets kicked out twice and just like for the last four games. He's like, oh, the Yakuza are fucking it up again. I guess I better go help out, but I'm still a civilian. Mm. Oh, Timo dumped uh, Shimo 2 into the garbage. That's actually a sick emote. Fucking Spencer being cheesy. <laughs> Not being cheesy, being cheesy. The dragon of Dojima, civilian supreme. Mm -hmm. yep. But yeah, I'm enjoying it. I think it's fun. Have you played as Majima yet? No. Nice. I was like. <laughs> Like, as soon as I was able to, like, free roam, I was like, I'm going to the arcade. Did the crane <laughs> game for about an hour. Oh, I was God. like, this is fun. And then I went and did some karaoke. I was like, this is fun. Oh, yeah, you can gloss the mini games. And I think they, they have them in there for the reason, like, oh, I don't want to keep doing story and fighting people all the time. So I'll just uh, I do like relax with some. Uh, walking with, down uh, the street and having 15 people be like, it's him. And I'm like, I don't fucking know you. <laughs> like and then he's like, let's fight, and I'm like, all right, I guess we'll fucking fight. Oh shit! Nice. Wow, my first air juggle. 
Not, oh, he, he knows what an air juggle is. My dude's been brushing well, it's up. Li- it's literally a juggle in the air. It's not hard. <laughs> really just well, he out. knows what an A attack is. Oh, shit. God damn it. Wait, hold on. It's don't hand me. Okay. <laughs> you can't hand me. Don't hand me. The guy who banged my sister. Yeah, it's like some of the fights, like, like the, the 90s in Japan must have been crazy or the 80s. Just walking down, being like, right, let's get some sushi. And then two, like, people are like, yeah, let's fuck them up. You're like, what the fuck? I was just going to get sushi. We'll beat them up. Well, uh, go a couple more streets down. Like, oh, that's uh, hooligans. Hooligans want to fight you now. You're like, ah, oh, shit. And then sometimes they're just like, hooligans. dudes in black. And you're like, all right, well. They, I guess these guys are just wearing black and they want to fuck me up. Mm. Well, uh, I mean, it's based in the red light district, essentially, of Japan or of Tokyo. Um, it's uh, Kamaricho is based on the city of Kamaricho, I think, if I remember correctly. And, nice recovery. Uh, thank you. Thank you. And, um, yeah, so Have you heard about like what Nintendo had to do with the SNES or N64 to try and prevent the Yakuza from stealing their shit? I did not. For a second there, I thought you were talking about the games. <laughs> and I was like, there's no way that the Yakuza games were on N64 or SNES. No. <laughs> and then I, was, then I was like, oh, he means like the real, hmm. the actual Yakuza. No, no. No. Nailed it. Dreamline is one of those stages where they had such a high ceiling, you can just survive forever. Different, apparently. It's like, why am I not dead yet? Oh, that was cool. Uh, well, uh, pineapple. Nailed it. That's what that's called when you hit the bottom of their stage. Pineapple. Oh. Well, on this stage. Oh, no. Oh, no. Stupid tree. Well, I'll, no, you don't have to. Uh, no, okay. well, I mean, it's already got percent anyways. And, you know, okay. it's 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 good practice to what's called a homie stock. When someone just, like, dies because they just, you know, something unfortunate happened. Especially when the person's at, like, low percent, so it's like their whole stock's gone. Hmm. Um, but... Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about, uh, Timo. I think I heard something similar. Yeah, don't forget that wave dodging is is a movement option. Oh yeah. Like I said, it it takes time to work that stuff into your gameplay. Yeah. That's why I'm just like keep it in the back of your mind. Yeah, I'm just if you're like reminding him that it exists. Well, yeah, I know. I was. It just. I wasn't talking. I wasn't even talking to you. <laughs> like, I ain't talking to you. God. Also, delete forward smash from your fucking brain. <laughs> All right, grab ledge. I can't. Grab ledge. I have a, um, I, oh, what, you want me to grab ledge? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just assume I'm always talking to you. Okay. <laughs> I like. I try to tell Spencer what to do, but he just gets angry at me. Hello. The mix up. <laughs> oh, am I gonna kill nice myself? Surprise. Or am, I gonna, <laughs> am I just gonna fucking die or what? <laughs> no, I'm gonna deliver myself in a nice little package for you. You're welcome. Happy Christmas. Sweet Christmas. <laughs> Sweet Christmas. Uh, Timo, how are you liking the Batman games? I played through all of them like pretty recently, about a year and a half ago, I think. I had a great time. I thought they were great. Nice. nice. Now that was a combo. Thank you. That's a terrible chant. I hate that chant. Oh, the chic chant. Go chic. Go chic. Please don't. Please stop cheering me. Don't talk to me. If you're, you're gonna, if you're gonna cheer my name like that, maybe just don't. Just, just make it short. Just say chic. Until I finish some work. I've been mean to get to. Seems good. Reward yourself, you know. Treat yourself. Or even like, let's go chic, not go chic. Yeah. <laughs> well, have you heard the Ganondorf one? Ganondorf. Ganondorf. Oh, uh, the Falcon one is good too. 
Falco. Falco. Oh shit. Grab ledge. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, was, yeah, don't forget that you can wave it. dash back to grab the ledge. Truth. He speak the true true. Alright, you guys wanna do like one more? Yeah. I'll play I'll play sure. this again. Oh fuck. Falco. <laughs> the tune of Goldberg. Yeah, it is, actually. I am we'll... now a boss in Mega Man. <laughs> I'm Missile Man. It's so close to the Popeye theme. It's very, it, it's very. Oh no, I don't want that. <laughs> are we doing a chain thing? Are we? <laughs> we uh, we're showing off our chains. No, I have to say yours is more impressive. Thicker. Ooh, that was nice. Oh, God damn it! I deserve like, that one. Like, you have good ideas, you know what I mean? Just poor Like, give it, like, literally, like, a month, and you'll be hitting those, like, 100% of the time. God damn it. You oh, know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Oh. oh, no. No. Your chain doesn't help you come back like that. That will does. always happen. Like that mistake. Oh, see, fuck. see what I'm talking about? <laughs> that wasn't even purposeful. Like it wasn't even done for comedic timing. Like I just, he just fucked it up. Yeah, because she has a sweet spot where if you grab the ledge with it, you'll automatically just pop right up and just be on the ledge. Otherwise, yeah. you'll just, you'll um, like jump up above the ledge, and I don't want to be doing that all the time. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to do that. I think you have a pretty good grab game against uh, Samus, too. So don't forget about your grabs and like down throwing and tech chasing and stuff like that. Nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. oh, I forgot that I had to wiggle out first. Damn it. <laughs> I messed up my thing. When I'm in that tumble animation, I can't use my uh, tether. My tether. My uh, oh. you know, the plasma whip or whatever. No oh, god. And so I I either have to because when, when you're in the tumble you can wiggle to get out of it, which is sometimes useful if you want to be able to react faster than you would otherwise. Um, eh. or eh. um after a certain while you can just the angle was good. Yeah, the angle was good. You can just attack. But all of Samus's moves take such a long time to use, so it's like if I'm going to attack to get out of the tumble. Hmm. Samus also um, has a really fast narrow out of shield. And they are in on test to see who's as faster, although I think Sheik's is faster. Yeah. Flamus to the Jamus. Come on and slam if you want to Sam. Us. I, I got you. I got you. Yeah, I, I did it. You've got that, that whole uh, pop me up, slap me out thing going on pretty good. Look at that. A fucking edge garden with down smash. Oh, oh nice. Slap me up. Slap me up and slap. Slap me okay, up okay. before you go, go. Slap, slap me, me up. up. Slap <laughs> me up inside. Slap me. <laughs> slap okay, me okay. up and kill me. I hate that fucking song so much. That's why we got to make fun. Oh, God damn it. I'm not doing the forward smashes on purpose. Trust. Oh, God. So, I just, you know. Got to. That all happened because you forward smashed? <laughs> just just a reminder that you uh, don't do that. I mean, honestly, like from today and then like from yesterday, I mean, you've already improved like a lot, a yeah. lot. Oh, no, I don't know oh, what okay. I did. Oh, well, okay. 
Well, that's all right. All right well, I take it back. <laughs> <laughs> take it all back. All right. You, you, you fucking suck. Recap uh, real quick what yeah. we've done today. So we'll go. Sure. Cheeky chic. And we'll go like. Yeah, but for real, like, um, I'm finding it less and less often where, like, I'm not just playing the game against you. Like, last couple of Do games, I... m like, most of the time, I was just like, I'm just going to I'm just gonna play as if I was playing against anybody. Mm. For the most part. But Yeah, I mean, I know you're going full strength, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I would well, be dead. Well, I don't want to, like, you know, just try to go hard and be a jackass about it, you know? Yeah, but, yeah. Oh yeah, there's no point in doing that either, because yeah, because <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna be able. To I learn learned because I died that. a lot. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Not my hands are all sweaty. Hold on. Oh god. No. Oh. It Timo improved yeah. a lot. Walks off and kills self. Yep. <laughs> wow, this is really. Oh no. You're so much better than yesterday. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see what you did. That was a reenactment. <laughs> I seen that on forensic files. <laughs> I know what you're doing. Yeah, we started watching uh what is it? I am a killer, I am a killer last night on Netflix. That sure. shit's crazy. Yeah, it's a documentary documentary, I never say it like that. Documentary series about mm. uh people on death row. People on death row. And so they interview the guy oh, yeah. on death row and then they interview like the people around him and they go over the case. And these interviewers are insane. They're so good. Like multiple, mm. like probably four times now in like the three episodes we've seen, they've had situations where it's like so-and-so has never spoken up about their involvement in this case. And then they're like, here's so-and-so speaking up about their involvement because we just convinced them to <laughs> somehow magically. Oh, you want to narrow out a shield? Huh? Narrow out a shield. Oh. Yeah. Look, look, look. Not a grab to be. Damn it! <laughs> Don't see. That's what happens. Was that a phantom hit? Yeah, it was. Right, it was infinite shields. Yeah, Matt, just stand completely, just like yeah. just outside his fucking hit range. So you well, it seems him. like every time I'm like I'm like really in it, he grabs. Oh, that, was, that was a good counter hit. Yeah. That was like a legit, yeah, that one yeah. too. It was just like straight up, fuck you. Well, don't you hit my shield. Get out of here. Get out of here. Terry has never spoken up about how he was the true killer until now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, Amy's been watching a lot of that. I catch bits and pieces of it, but yeah. Yeah, it's, it's pretty those good. Those shows. Some of the situations, man, it's sad. Mm. Like, like this person's in death row because of a law from like the '90s, or a situation for, from the '90s where like you probably shouldn't be, and it's just like, what are they gonna do about that? <laughs> there was this Texas. Yeah. This one dude uh, that uh, was in the car, and one of his friends shot somebody, and, uh, Texas, and he didn't even see it. No, he didn't even see it. Um, and in Texas, there's a law. It's like a party's law or whatever. Yeah, where one person in your party. Like a fucking D and D group breaks the law, then you get punished the same. So he got death row for being the driver of a car. They didn't even uh, I, they didn't even flee the scene or anything like that. No, mm. he, um, he was just in the car, and his friend happened to be the one to get out and then shoot somebody. Yeah, and so they just assume that uh, they were privy to it, it. Yeah, that it was premeditated and that he was a part of the plan. So they the law is to is is, is to try to. I guess the purpose of it is is if there's a mastermind behind something, you can charge the mastermind. Yeah. And they won't get away with it. But in this but, case, like, literally, there was nothing there that m made any evidence towards the fact that he, it was premeditated. Yeah. Um, but then the brother of the guy who got shot became the district attorney of the state. And then oh the boy. dude, the driver, needed to yeah, have the fucked. approval for the district attorney and, like, another official uh, to... Um, to get uh, his case relooked at or whatever. Yeah. And so yeah. like it's 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 like he needs two <laughs> officials. Like, nope. <laughs> he, he, he needs two officials to be able to get this looked at again. One of them is the district attorney, and then it just reveals, oh, the guy ran for district attorney, and the whole time the guy refuses to to to, to see the 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 guy on death row. And uh, they had already killed the murderer. Yeah. They had already put him on death row, yeah. or they already killed him. Yeah. 
Yeah, they'd already uh, sentenced him and executed him. And so there's just this guy who just had to be the guy in the car, just in on death row. He refuses to, to talk to him. You do uh, chain grabs? Sure. And and he tries to make it out like, oh, well, it's the system and like... Oh, yeah. He's all about redemption, except for this one part. Yeah. And he's all oh, yeah. he's like talking about God and all this other shit. Like, well, I would be a hypocrite if I... Uh, if I didn't think that, you, that there that was a redemption because Paul or or one of the apostles was a was a murderer, a murderer or some shit or something like that, like but he dude won't somebody. even see the the this guy. And I understand you have like a personal stake in it, but just well, like, be honest about your personal stake in it. Yeah, yeah. and isn't that don't a conflict try to of interest? hide? Yeah, it's also like a huge conflict of interest, which I th- find was weird. Yeah, and the guy tries to make yeah, it out should... like he's taking the high road, but the whole time you can just tell he's just being super shitty about it. Yeah, he's just an asshole. And he did not get a second term as district attorney, though, which is nice. So, but the the guy in death row uh, isn't able to parole until 2036, because he was able to be pulled off of death row and put onto a life imprisonment because a bunch of people made a big stink about it, and the yeah. governor was like, "All right, we'll commute him to a life imprisonment instead." So he has to parole in 2036 now, but he's already been on your first four stock. Wow, yeah. I'm so good. <laughs> you weren't even like fighting back at all because I was just you were all over me. I couldn't you. even play the game. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't even walk forward to you and just stand there. I I couldn't do it. I couldn't. <laughs> the grabs were insane. The oh nair out of shields. Every time I tried to jab, you got me. You know. Jeez, I I'm just again call me mango cake. I don't want to tell you. It's just, uh, <laughs> mango cake happen? sounds pretty good actually. Like as an actual I don't know meal. If I, eat that. I don't know. Eh, I don't, eh. You're not a big fruit cake kind of. Yeah, fucking well, fruit like cake. Handle, like literally anything else besides mango. Oh my God, I, I swear I never thought no. of that as like a funny joke about piss cake calling fruit cake. Oh no, I, yeah, you're, you you wouldn't be the first one. Yeah, I wouldn't assume so. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I uh, I mean, how's how's it feeling? Because it it really seems like you you're you're you're, you're making seeing some pretty... situations. You're doing making good, like decisions when you're trying to combo and stuff like that like like the game plan is there you know what i mean mm. yeah yeah no i just think i need to um just practice 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 like any other fighting game yeah if you're interested um there is uh you can look up some some sheet players to see how they fight um mm. swedish delight's a good one plup is a good one plup is a good one um plup it r- r- right now actually uh, the current tournament shine that's happening at the moment he's in top eight right now mm. um, with samus sh- with samus at the moment he's been playing samus oh. because that, that was his original uh uh main and he switched to Sheik for a while and he's playing samus again so there's a chance that he's going to switch to Sheik, uh depending on who he fights especially if mm. he's going to fight like mango you know, wouldn't assume that he would stay as mango's samus. never lost to a samus yeah so I, I don't think that he would play samus against mango but so plus a good Sheik. switch lights a good Sheik. um who else is good? I've never lost to a Dr. Mario. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> so corn? You've never lost to corn? Yeah. As Dr. Mario? <laughs> yeah, Mango's somebody in the community. But yeah, I think overall, I mean, like like I said, like when we did it a few weeks ago, uh, there's like big improvements from just day to day. I'm doing it. I'm going to smash them all, dudes. I'll count, you can tell Chris Case I'm uncomfortable with all these compliments. Yeah. I am very uncomfortable with these compliments. <laughs> Please stop complimenting. Just tell me I suck and I need to do more work. Well, you definitely suck. No. <laughs> Thank you. Thank God. Oh, I, there we go. I mean, I can force stock you real fast with Falco if you. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? Actually, just for funsies. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and now he let's, will try. Let's see your true power. But at least let, let me transform at least. Yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's absolutely. Okay. All, right. All, right. all right. You can just hold okay, A. Oh, yeah. All right. And then I'm just going to. Okay. Yeah. Now, Vizcate, Vizca, you are at a slight, a slight advantage because Matt doesn't play against Sheik very often. Aha. Uh-huh. When I say advantage, I mean just ever so slight. You're not going to get like fucked as hard as if you were playing uh, Marth or Samus because that's who I play all the time. Oh, oh nice stole grab. the ledge from me. No. Oh, now you start shielding. Didn't shield against Spencer. 
Hey, you know, just I just do what my fingers do, you know? I don't pay. I don't I don't think about it too hard. Just let autopilot take over. <laughs> the way Matt got up off that off that ledge almost feels like it was uh, uh, like he's being cheeky about it. But literally, when you're over 100 no, percent and, and you try to, to get yeah. up, yeah, it's like you, you get up slow automatically. So, but it looks like you're just being cheeky. Like I'm just gonna get up slow off the ledge, and you can't do nothing about it. Mm. All right, just okay, your job here is not to get four stock. Hit him once, kill him. Force him to just three stock. I'm here. trying. Oh, I should try to kill him. Okay. Yeah, I mean. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I was really scared that I wasn't gonna get the four stock after I had called it. <laughs> I was so scared. Do you see me not talk at all? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Matt had a couple of flubs in there, and I was like, oh shit. Oh no. <laughs> I got lucky. I got you off your game for a second. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, you underestimate my power. <laughs> no, but you, I'm going uh, to go full Saiyan now. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you were doing some pretty good stuff earlier where I was I was trying to, like, uh, what is it, uh, uh, abuse certain things with, like, Samus or, or, or Marth, and you were uh, throwing a hitbox out to interrupt me a lot, uh, preventing me from doing, like, the really just, like, dirty, I'm going to fuck you up stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so you do have that game sense there, whereas like I'm not I'm not just gonna let you get away with it type stuff, which is yeah. definitely a good thing to have. But cool, nice. I'm like I'm, uh, honestly, this is a lot of fun. I hope yeah. you're having fun. Yeah, no, it's really, really nice. I I enjoy playing fighting games. I just never really been able to like sit down and focus on them in, in like forever. So, yeah, and I'm Smash is one of those where, people. like, it, it seems kind of daunting, but, like, once there's, like, plateaus you hit, right? Like, once you're, like, all right, I'm going to start wave dashing, like, consistently, and then, like, then you kind of, like, level up, and then you level up, and then it's all about implementing, like, tech, basically. And yeah. th my favorite thing about it is that there, there are bread and butter combos, but the, the game is so uh, not linear that uh, it's 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 always a different game every time. Like you never see situations where somebody just shuts somebody else down um, consistently in the same way. Like in, like in other fighting games can, can happen. But like mm -hmm. there's no like combo locks necessarily. There's always a way you yeah. can, it, even when you're getting hit by somebody, like when Matt was shining you and then downering you, he, those are called pillar combos. Mm -hmm. uh, when he's doing that, if you pay attention to what side of his body you're on when you're getting hit, you can hit your your stick to to, to as he hits you to di out, and then I don't get a follow up. And then that prevents him from getting a follow up. Like you can prevent that from happening with a real, like reaction stuff. And so that's what makes it so much fun is that there's always like a chance to like mess the other person up or or, or get out of it or have completely unique combo situations that would never happen with anybody else. Yeah. So. Noise makes it fun. For me, at least. <laughs> yeah, it's I very, it's it. very creative when it comes to mm -hmm. stuff. Because I hate playing like, like, fighting games and then and then playing against somebody on, online and they just like demolish you where you can't combo yeah, break, you, you can't, can't get do out of anything. It, and it's just like, yep. That bare like, like even when we were just playing a second ago, when I like, you could have easily taken a stock, like, it, it, like it was possible. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. But if I was like super good at Street Fighter Five. I don't think it would have been like a lot harder and you're like a noob, you know what I mean? 
Oh yeah, I'm like in the rookie league. I'm still well, in Street Fighter Five in the rookie league, and like they're for some reason they keep teaming them like fighting me against the uh, bronze players. Mm -hmm. and they keep fucking handing me my shit. I'm like, okay, please stop. Mm -hmm. Oh god. Well, then it's like it's not even fun. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I mean, oh, I, I mean, you I get do, beat I, like, so hard. I'm fairly new. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, part of it's on me for even you know trying to conquer the internet. <laughs> part of it's on me for even trying. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I shouldn't have tried. I should just keep practicing until my fingers bleed. Oh god! All uh, right, boys. Um, that was a good time. Um, yeah. I'll see you in about like f four, three, four hours or so, or whatever. Three. I don't know. Fuck it. Eleven, twelve. Yeah, one, so like, two, like three. Three and a half. Yeah, hours three and a half hours or so. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, for those of you watching us, team up. You're still here. Uh, fist cake, and us. We do a uh, a podcast every Sunday, so we'll, we'll be back on with him. Uh, at uh, 3 p.m. Pacific time. So, and we do talk about game stuff one time. Yeah, and a special guest, Butternut, 69. Yep, because it's our 69th okay. episode. Have to do it. We were legally yeah. obligated. All right, man. We'll see you. We'll see you then. All right, peace out. Peace. Bye.